And Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed us with our Eid. Because you know, the Jumu'ah is the Eid for the Muslims. Every That's the weekly Eid. And one of the things that we want to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us the, the prize after each ibadah. That's the concept of Eid in Islam. So when you have somebody converted to Islam and said shahada, what is his prize? All previous sins will be forgiven. Okay, that's the prize. And for salah, we have weekly Eid, which is Jum'ah. So you pray five times a day, and each and, and at the end of each week, okay, you have Eid. Then you pray, then you fast in Ramadan, then that, that is followed by Eid. Then you perform Hajj, and it is followed by Eid. So what about Zakat? What's the Eid of Zakat? One word. Where is Brother Barakat? He's not here. It's the Barakat. The Eid of Zakat is the Barakat, the blessings of Allah. And why it does not have a certain time, like certain day? Because each one different from another. Your Hawl means the, 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 the year, the annual, to have the complete Hawl, the complete year for your money. That's different from one person to another. Okay, that's one. That's why for zakah, everyone has his own Eid. When he pays his zakah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him barakah back, that's his Eid. So alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed us with our Eid today, which is the Jumu'ah for our Salah. And we, we, the purpose of these like 15, 20 minutes after Maghrib that we reflect upon the topic for today's khutbah, that we were talking actually about what? About the clean heart and the advice of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we had one of the brothers in Alhamdulillah also, it's a good news that he just came to the Masjid. Yes, you can have a seat till we finish our lecture, inshallah. Then I'm going to call you, our brother will, wanted to declare shahada inshallah today. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So he will have his own Eid today. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us, Allahumma ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So it is, it is the, we talked about the clean heart and the, the advice from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's heartful advice, soulful advice. Because the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam give it to whom? Give it to who was the, the person who was giving the advice? Huh? The servant of Rasulullah. <laughs> Once we said the servant, so so Sayyiduna Anas ibn Malik was the, the one who took the advice from Rasulullah. And the advice was if you were able to wake up in the morning and to end your day in the evening or the night, and you have no hatred, no grudge towards anybody, then do so. That's the advice of Rasulullah. And then he said, that is part of my sunnah. And whoever revives my sunnah, it is a sign that he loved me. And whoever loved me will be with me in Jannah. That led us to the question. Yes, I, as I promised you that we will talk about four things or four issues, four types of people that they will be the closest to the Rasulullah in Jannah. Of course, one of them one of them, the one who loved Rasulullah, or the one who revived the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi But let me just point, put them here in, in points. So the first one I chose for tonight, the closest to, the, to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi in Jannah, the one who prostrates the most. The one who prostrates the most. The most in quality or in quantity? Both. Okay. Those who prostrate the most. Of course, if you are praying on a chair and you say, you know what? I'm excluded because I'm not prostrated. We do not mean the, the literal meaning of prostration. Yes. If we, if even out of sickness or 
pain that you have in your back, you cannot prostrate physically. We do not mean the literal or the physical meaning of prostration. To pray, to pray and to make sujood. A man, what's the evidence for that? A man came to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he said, Ya Rasulullah, as'aluka murafaqataka fil jannah. I ask you to be your companion in Jannah. So what was the answer of Rasulullah? He said, أَعِنِّي عَلَى نَفْسِكَ بِكَثْرَةِ السُّجُودِ Strive against yourself by having lots of sujood. That is the way to be with me in Jannah. So if you wanted to be with the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in Jannah, do sujood a lot. So the one who has the most prostration in salah, in prayer, he will be with the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in Jannah. That's point number one. What is point number two? The one who will be closest to Rasulullah in Jannah will be the one who has the most of the good character. So the one who has the most of the good characters will be with the Prophet وسلم, in Jannah. That is type number two. That is the person number two or the, the category number two. To have the good characters, the good manners, you, then you will be with the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in Jannah. Let's say that we have a person who has 70% of the good characters, but we have another person who has 90%. So. The one will be closest to, the, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the one who has the 90%. What is the evidence for that? Is the authentic hadith. The hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam had mentioned, "Aqrabukum minni majlisan yawm al-qiyamah ahasinukum akhlaqa." The closest person to me in Jannah on the day of judgment, the one who has the best of the characters. That is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So because of the Yaseen and the brother Majdi, they just came, let me repeat the first, okay? That is, inshallah, they will, they will not pay anything except they will make dua for me, inshallah. So the first one, who is the first one? Is the one who is prostrating the most, the one who is doing lots of sujood and the evidence for that. So write it down and the evidence next to it. The hadith of Rasulullah, the one who came to Rasulullah and he said, Ya Rasulullah, as'aluka murafaqataka fil jann. I wanted to be with you in jann. He said, a'inni ala nafsika bi kathrati sujood. If you wanted to do that, strive yourself, strive your bad self, your bad nafs by prostrating, by having lots of sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, the one who has the most and the best of the character, as we mentioned, the hadith of Rasulullah, and it is authentic hadith. أَقْرَبُكُمْ مِنِّي مَجْلِسًا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَحَاسِنُكُمْ أَخْلَاقًا That's the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's num type number two. Type number three, the most adhere to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the most holistic way. The most adhere to the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the most holistic way. What does it mean? As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, and the evidence for that is the, the verse in Surah Ali Imran, when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي Allah. Surely, if you love Allah, then follow me, follow my sunnah. And that's why the hadith of today's khutbah, when Rasulullah told him to clean his heart, then he followed this by said, and that is my sunnah. And if you followed me, then it's a sign that you loved me. And if you loved me, you will be with me in Jannah. That's the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And not only this, numerous ahadith had mentioned this point that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, وَهَذِهِ سُنَّتِي 
and that is my sunnah. You know what's the, the meaning of sunnah here? When he, when he says that's my sunnah, means? No. Huh? No. no. My way. Yes, that's my way of life. That's my way of life, means that's the sunnah. Sometimes you read in the Quran, sunnah Allah. Sunnah Allah. What does it mean, sunnah Allah? Yes, that's the way of Allah. That's the wisdom of Allah. That's the decision of Allah. That's the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why sunnah Allah. And he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's my way of life. So when you visit, for example, Dr. Rahim, okay? And mashallah, he shows his generosity to you. And he brings biryani and fruits. And Okay, let's go to him. Okay, you agree. Alhamdulillah. So... <laughs> Dr. Rahim will say, I didn't invite anyone. Okay. <laughs> so when he shows that generosity to you, he will say, That's my sunnah. That's my sunnah means that's my way of life. That's how I do the, to the people. So to adhere to the sunnah to, to, to the sunnah of Rasulullah in the most holistic way. What does it mean? To be as much as you can, as much as you can, trying to imitate the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Sometimes when you go to the masajid, you might find a young man who will, who will drink. And then you find like he has a, he has process in while he is drinking. There is process for drinking, you know? Some people say, why are you doing it like a, it's a big issue? It's a big deal. If you want to drink, just take the cup and drink. It's not a big deal. But those people are following the sunnah in the most holistic way, in the most perfect way. They take it, they take the cup with the right hand, and then they sit down and they drink. They say, Bismillah. They drink for three times and they, and then they say, Alhamdulillah, after they finish. It seems like there is, there is a process here for, for drinking, for drinking. Some people, they may take a, the cup out and they, they threw it. And sometimes we as Muslims, we respect the ni'mah of Allah. How many times you have heard from the young generation, the young, like the teenagers, like, it's a junk food. Junk food. I, I hate this word. I hate this word. We cannot say about the ni'mah of Allah, junk food. You don't know how much people, they cannot find even a, a very a clean sip of water. They cannot find even the dry bread that you throw in the, in the trash or in the garbage. That's why we cannot say a junk food. We are the ummah that we respect the ni'mah of Allah, even if it was food. We set politely, nicely, respect the, the, the piece of, of bread. If it dropped, we clean it. If it dropped, we put it nicely on the side for, for, for the animal even to take from it. No problem. But we respect the ni'mah of Allah the most. So this is the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You remember Rasulullah after three days didn't eat? So what did he say? When somebody had invited them and he said, the narration said, وَذَبَحُوا عِنَاقًا عِنَاقًا means something like young, let's say a little goat. They slaughter something and he invited Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions Abu Bakr and Umar. And then the, the narrator said that Rasulullah had called the rest of his companions. He didn't want to, he didn't want to eat alone, sallallahu alayhi wa But yet he had Abu Bakr and Umar and the owner of the house. And can you imagine you didn't eat for three days? If I brought for Brother Jihad a little goat after three days, and you are starving. One day. What? What? MashaAllah. Even after one day, he will eat with the bones, you know? <laughs> Completely. 
But Rasulullah had invited the rest of his companions. And after they ate, listen to this, he looked at Abu Bakr wa Umar. What about those people who are throwing, you know, lots of things and 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 they they throw it with denying of the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi, I saw people sometimes in the, the TV shows, they teach the little kids to kick the food with their with their legs, and you know, I don't like it, I don't want it. Think about this. Think about the ni'mah, the virtue, the bounty of Allah that he granted you that food while you have other nations. Other people are starving to get just a piece of that food. May Allah continue the ni'mah upon us. Allahumma ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. What is number four? What is type number four? Could, could you guess who will be the number four type? We mentioned the love in the hadith early in the, today in the morning. But that's a nice try. But we mentioned this. We, are, we said that we are going to, to, to mention four extra types. It's very easy. Those who are frequently sending salah wa salam for Rasulullah. Sallallahu ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi Those who are in a constant state of saying and sending peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They will be with him in Jannah. I just wanted to tell you something before I end my lecture because I know it's very short time in Jumu'ah's night. But I just wanted to tell you something. Can you imagine when you enter Jannah, inshallah, may Allah let us all enter Jannah. And then you, fought, you, you, you see from a distance that there are a lot of people are gathering around the river of Al Kawthar. And then you try to run to Al Kawthar. And all of a sudden, you see lots of cups made of gold, made of silver around the river of Al Kawthar. Then all of a sudden, who is giving the drinks? Who are you? And he will tell you, I am Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of Rasulullah. Then you hug him. And then you walk a little bit. Who are you? He, he will tell you, I am Uthman ibn Affan. I am the one that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day said, I feel shy from Uthman as the angels of Allah feel shy of Uthman. Subhanallah, Uthman, the great companion. And you walk a little bit, then you find Umar ibn al-Khattab. Umar ibn al-Khattab, the great man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given strength and power to Islam through Umar ibn al-Khattab. Yes. Then you walk a little bit and you see Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu an, the one that Rasulullah had said about him, if we were to weight his iman and compare it with the iman of the rest of the ummah, the Iman of Abu Bakr will be heavier than the rest of the Iman of the rest of the Ummah. Then you walk a little bit and you find Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is carrying the cup and waiting for you to give you the cup, the, the, the sip of water that if you take it from the hand of Rasulullah, you will never ever feel thirsty after that sip of water from Rasulullah Muhammad. Then he will hand it to you. And you will tell him, Ya Rasulullah, I am Muhammad Ali. I'm one of your ummah. I followed you. You will tell him, Ya Rasulullah, I'm Uzziddin. I'm one of your followers. I followed you, Ya Rasulullah. I used to stay time after time listening to your seerah, listening to your stories. I loved you, Ya Rasulullah, the most. I'm one of your followers then he will allow you to go steps forward. 
to see the cup was raised. And you are finding yourself going towards that cup. And you drink from that cup, which is already raised. And you find the sweetness of that cup, the sweetness of that water goes inside you. And you wonder if that is Rasulullah, if that is Abu Bakr, who is giving me the drink? Allah. And Allah will reply to you, Allah is the one who is giving them the drink. The pure one. Wallahi, it worth. It worth to work. It worth to love one another. It worth to pray. It worth to repent. It worth to spread Islam. It worth to spread peace everywhere. It worth. May Allah gather all of us in Jannah. Allahumma ameen. With the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In Jannah al firdaus Allahumma ameen ya Rabbil alameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Before you leave, we have the gift at the end of, of the day. We have one of our brothers will declare shahada, inshallah. So let's attend these moments and let's have it, inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. Yes, brother, come on. I call him so we can have these moments and we can witness on the day of judgment to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, we have a brother here who accepted Islam and who declared Islam. Yes, come on, brother. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are you doing? What's your name? Giovanni. Huh? Giovanni. Giovanni. Okay, you talk, you, you are basically from Bortrif. Bortrif, mashallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. So inshallah, I'm going to say the shahada in Arabic, a little bit, little, little by little, okay? And then you repeat after me, and then we will say it in English, okay? Are you ready? Uh, not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that your decision, your free decision? Yeah. Is there anyone forcing you uh. to do so? So you came to Islam freely with all your senses and all your love. Yes. Okay, repeat after me. Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Ashhadu Wa Ashhadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasul Rasul Allah Allah I bear witness I bear witness I bear witness Witness, witness, wow, witness. I, that there is no God, there is no God, but Allah, but Allah. I bear witness, I bear witness that Muhammad, that Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger of Allah, of Allah. Takbir, Takbir. We wish if we had Imam who could talk Spanish or Puerto Rico, yes. but we do not have. He's trying also with the English. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless you, brother. Congratulations, may Allah accept from you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you firm on Iman and on Islam, inshallah. And here your brothers will congratulate you, inshallah. Welcome to the Islam, brother. May Allah accept from you, Allahumma ameen. As you mentioned, with the Islam.